Hi, it's Kylie. You know, you might be feeling really small today, or you might be feeling really big. Either way, when we're together and we express ourselves through art, it's powerful. So what do you say? Will you join me? You will? Awesome. You know, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Come on. Hi, my name is Kylie, and I am so excited because today you and I are going to go visit an artist. An artist whose job it is to make art. My friend, his name is Jeremy, is an artist who works with clay. He makes clay on pottery wheels, and he makes clay with sculpture. He works at a studio called Ripple Mobile Arts, and guess what? Today, you and I get to go see him and he's going to teach us all about pottery wheels and sculpture and clay. Ah, I'm so excited, let's go. Today, we're visiting my friend Jeremy at his studio, Ripple Mobile Arts. Come on. I like these red doors. Hi, Jeremy. Hello, friends. Come on in, guys. Come on in to the studio. Hey, friends. I'm here with my friend, Jeremy. Jeremy is an artist. What kind of art do you like to make? I like to make some sculptures out of working on the pottery wheel. Would you like to hold a little clay? Yeah. It's very sticky. Ooh. It's sticky Squishy. and squishy. It doesn't really smell like anything. It's made up of rocks that have broken apart by either water or just rocks rubbing together, the friction. So when I work with a clay, I'm going to make a ball by cupping my hand and packing it just like a snowball. You like making snowballs? Yes, I do. I'm gonna take this ball of clay and I smack it down. And then we use something called a foot pedal. And the foot pedal is located right here. So you can see that it actually helps it to spin. I'm gonna use my foot. You can hear it going. Now, let me show you what happens when we go too fast. That's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. Because I'm going to use a finger and I seal it down. That way, it's locked in place. A little bit of water, pouring it on. We don't need to dump it on. And I do something called coning. This helps to stretch the clay up. For now, we're gonna go up just a bit higher and then we squish it down. When I squish it down, were my hands together or were they apart? Mm, together. Together, exactly. Now together, they work together. Apart, they kind of fight against each other. I'm going to middle speed again and I'm working on centering just like this. I have my hand, my left hand, kind of like a handshake, except I've cut my hand like I'm packing the snowball. 
and then a fist. Now I'm not punching the clay, I'm pressing on the clay. And everything that I do has to be very steady. Now I'm going to dig in with either my thumbs or fingers. Now if you notice, my hands are not apart, they're together. So I dig into the clay. I'm making a hole to start out. Now I'm going to open it up with one hand connected to the other. And I stop the wheel and it's opened up a bit. Wow. It used to look like a donut and now it looks like a bowl. It looked kind of like a bowl. Now this could be a bowl for your pet. Maybe it's for your cat or your dog. Or maybe this bowl is for your cereal. Has anybody here been on a merry-ground before? I have, I went round and around and around. Around? What happens if somebody tries to push you too fast? Is it hard to hang on? Yeah. Very hard to hang on. I've, I've seen people fall off. I've almost fallen off. So what I wanna do is I'm, I wanna slow it down. Remembering it's kind of like a merry-go-round. If I go too fast, the clay goes too far. It starts going out and I lose complete control of working with it. So I slow it down even slower than I had it before. I'm gonna add some water and then I'm going to pretend my left hand's going in for a handshake. How do you do? And then my right hand, I make a little hook. And I'm going to pull the clay up. When I worked on the pottery wheel and started to learn this, I had to learn lots of patience. And I had to learn to go very slow sometimes. Almost as slow as a turtle. So I'm pulling this up. Let's see, I can either bring it in or I could pull it out. Would you have a recommendation? What would you like? What do you think? Bring what it would in, you guys like? Pull it out. We can go in or out. Let's go out. Sounds good. So if I pull it out, both hands work together. And if I can, I like to have something called, I like to call it a butterfly hand grip, just like this. We can make a butterfly. Now, when I pull it out, I support it on the outside and I pull it from the inside. So I'm going to use a finger at the bottom and I dig in just a tiny bit like this and then I use a wire. We need a strong wire. If you use dental floss at home for your teeth, you can even use dental floss. I'd like to show you a crazy head that I've been working on. I want to see it. Can I show you a crazy head? All right. It looks magical. It's fun. I've dug into it, I've added clay, I've made little snails, and I've stuck it on the side. Look at this wavy hairdo up here. Hmm. Maybe they just woke up, didn't bother doing anything with their hair. That could have been it. Jeremy and I just finished learning all about how to make a pot on the potter's wheel. So cool. That clay is wet. Did you know that before clay is ready to be used as a cereal bowl or a sculpture, it goes through lots of different steps? Jeremy, will you tell us about all the steps clay goes through before we can use it? Absolutely. So when we work on the pottery wheel, it starts out very wet. We have our bowl. We have a bone dry piece. Then some people like to bisque fire it next. After we've bisque fired it, you can do 
very detailed painting. Glaze is a special paint that only works with clay. So when we paint it and we fire this, which is just another word, kind of like baking, baking the clay, it goes to 2000 degrees and it turns out like this. That is a very hot. This one is rough. This one is rough. This one is pretty smooth after it's fired. And it's stronger. When you put glaze on it, this becomes stronger. This is maybe a mommy or daddy turtle. Maybe we can make a baby turtle. Oh, cute! What we want to do first is I start out with a ball of clay. Now it's not quite a ball yet, so we're going to pack it like a snowball. We can use our hands. We can roll it on our boards. We might notice, well, there's a tennis ball here. What in the world do we do with a tennis ball? Do we bounce it? No. Do we throw it? No. We smash it. So we've rolled it around. Now we can smash the clay. This is fun. Now, when I smash the clay, I want to keep these edges pretty thick. So I'm rolling it and I'm tapping or smashing it. Now it looks like a pancake or maybe a big cookie. Ooh, does you it don't... taste like a Probably cookie? Probably not. Oh, okay. It would taste a little salty. <laughs> now, I have my slab. This is called slab. The next step is breaking some off with our fingers and then we're going to use that piece of clay. Now yours might be a little different size than mine. That's just fine. We're going to roll the clay back and forth just like the bottom of a rocking chair going back and forth, stretching it out. I like to stretch it out as long as your slab, just like this. And then we're going to do another one. It looks like a worm. A worm. It's like a little worm. So if it's a little longer, we can break it. If it's just the right size, we'll put it off the, to the side for a second and we'll make a second one. We make two. How's that going? Great. Great. Now I have two pieces. So I have my legs and then we're going to work on the turtle shell. Okay. So a turtle shell, let's take some of this off. And I like to make a piece maybe about this size. So this is maybe the size of a bouncy ball. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, it doesn't bounce, does it? <laughs> I tried it. Now we are going to do something called a pinch pot. We have a slab, we have coils. Now we have a pinch pot. We're going to put her thumb in just like this. What I'm going to do now is start pinching the clay so it opens up. We want it to look like a little cup, a little cup. So we have our coils, we have our pinch pot, we have our slab. Now we have two more things we want to make okay. for our turtle. One is the head. So I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit. This might be about right. I'm gonna leave that. And the last thing is the tail. Ooh. Now when I roll a tail, I'm gonna make another coil, except this time, I'm going to squeeze on one side only. I'm rolling it just on one side. So it's like a little point. A point. These are all separate pieces. We're going to join them together. The first step, is either using a brush, or I like to use my finger, just like this. Your finger is your brush. And you put some glue all along the bottom of our legs. We crisscross it so it's right in the middle, just like you've divided it in half. Now we have our other legs, and we will crisscross. So we've added some slip, lots of glue. We're going to crisscross and now we have 
how many sections do we have? We have one, two, three, four. And I can put my head in between any of these legs. Now, when I connect it, I want to bend it up like this. And then I'm going to do one more thing. I bend it out. And then my tail, I can put a little bit of slip on the bottom of my tail, just like this. So I've joined it. Now I can use my turtle shell. This is one of the last steps. I'm going to put a little bit of slip. This is going to go right in the middle. Now, if I push this down, we don't want to push it down from the top. You know what happens? Our turtle would be smushed. It would be, exactly. So we want to move our hands in just like a claw, just like we're grabbing something and we're connecting it to the legs and the tail and the head, just like this. And I have the beginnings of my turtle, Mr. Turtle. Is his name Mr. Turtle? Yeah, Mr. Turtle. What do yeah. you think we should name our turtle? Hmm. Mm, maybe... Larry? Larry and the turtle. Larry, Larry and Mr. Turtle. Larry and Mr. Turtle. Now, I still have a little bit of extra clay. Me too. This extra clay, I can make lots of things. I can make a little eyeball like this. I can also make some tall grass. Hello, I am Larry the Turtle. I just got made. Hello, Larry. Hello, Mr. Turtle. Yeah. My name's Larry. And the last thing, we have to put our name on it. Ooh, we have to sign it. We have to sign the bottom. That's what an artist likes to do. Jeremy, we had so much fun in your studio today. You are an amazing artist and you taught us so much. We learned about how to make pots on a potter's wheel. We learned how to sculpt. We learned all about clay. We loved being here with you. Jeremy's studio is called Ripple Mobile Arts. It's in Indianapolis, Indiana, and you can learn more about Jeremy, his work, and taking classes from him on how to do cool things like this at ripplemobilearts.com. Thank you so much. We had the best day. I enjoyed it so much making these turtles, and I hope you enjoyed it at home. It's ripplemobilearts.com. Have a great day. We're back at the purple chair. That was so fun, and I learned so much. Did you? <laughs> I never want to forget all of the things that we did and learned today at Jeremy's studio. Let's write it down. Okay. We went to Jeremy's studio and he showed us the pottery wheel. This is where people make things out of clay that we can use like vases and bowls and cups and mugs. Oh, so many things you can make on a pottery wheel. It kind of looked like a little table, didn't it? It was round on top and it had a foot pedal. That's what Jeremy pressed down with his foot to make the wheel spin very fast or slow or medium. Then we took some clay and we put it into a big ball, like a snowball. And Jeremy threw it as hard as he could down into the middle of the wheel, plop. Then he pressed down on the foot pedal and he made the wheel go around slowly as he shaped it. He used his hands to shape the clay into a bowl. What did we do next? Oh, Jeremy showed us one of his sculptures. It was a crazy face. It was so cool. He's such a good creative artist. Then he invited us to make a sculpture with him, a turtle, right? So we sat down at a table and we started with a ball of clay again. What was the first thing we did? Do you remember? Oh yeah. We took the ball and we made it into something called a slab. It was round, but also very flat. That's called a slab of clay. And there's lots of things you can make out of slabs. The next thing we did 
is we made some coils of clay. Do you remember that? We rolled it on the table and we ended up with two coils. They looked kind of like worms. You could make a lot of things in sculpture with coils as well. Hmm. Then, oh, we made one more thing with clay using another technique. We made a pinch pot. Do you remember that? We took a little ball of clay and pinched it with our fingers and we made a little pot like that. And then we put it all together, all of the pieces. We took our slab and then we laid our coils on top. Then we made a head for our turtle. We made a tail for our turtle with coils. And then we put the pinch pot right on top and we ended up with the cutest little turtle. I named mine Larry and Jeremy named his Mr. Turtle. It was so fun. I love making art with you. Thank you so much for going to Jeremy's studio with me today. We had so much fun. I'm excited to make something with you next time. See you soon. Want to make more things together? Me too. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. Search Kylie Makes It for lots of fun art videos. Also, parents and educators, go to KylieMakesIt.com. I have lots of things for you too. Like this video and subscribe.